Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to install Linux. Um, as I talked to you on a previous video, uh, we've talked about what is the best Linux distribution and uh, which one is suitable for your needs, uh, which one to pick. Actually, in this video, I'm going to install Linux and especially uh, Lin uh, Linux Mint Linux. Now, uh, Mint Linux is a very good distribution it's very easy to use uh, it's very handy you can find uh, on the documentation everything you need uh, it's very good for a beginner or an expert so uh, Linux Mint I'm going to install it in uh, I'm going to show you actually uh, two ways to install Linux now the first one is to install on a physical machine uh, means your computer or uh, your laptop the second way is to install on a virtual machine uh, actually, first thing uh, to install it, you have to uh, copy the Linux on a uh, DVD or a USB drive to install on a physical or a virtual machine. Uh, in order to do that, you have to uh, download a program that uh, do that job, which is Universal USB Installer. And you can find it uh, from Google here. I just will put these uh, links on the uh, website. So uh, this is the program, Universal USB Installer. You just download it from that link. After downloading it, you'll find it like that. And you'll find here you can uh, put or burn the Linux. Uh, just as, as you see, uh, many, many distributions out there. Uh, Linux uh, Mint is one of them. You will choose it sorry from here yes this is uh, like uh, a label you would choose uh, this one here then uh, you should download Linux Mint ISO image to choose it now in order to get this ISO image is from linuxmint.com also the link on the website you click on download and choose uh, Linux Mint now uh, the date of the recording of the video is Linux Mint 18.1 which is this one actually I pick a 64-bit version I download already the ISO so I already have it and this is the ISO image and select the USB you have to burn on it now when you click create it will start copying that Linux on that drive so uh, I'm going to uh, click on it it prompts to uh, erasing and uh, clearing the uh, master boot record. Hit yes. Actually, uh, the extraction is started to extract the files from the ISO image and copy it to the ISO. Uh, copy it to sorry to the USB drive bin drive. So after that is finished. Uh, I'm going to stop the video recording and uh, come uh, come back after when it's finished. Now, after finishing the uh, complete copying process and rebooting your PC and booting from the USB memory, I just press enter for starting uh, Linux Mint. Actually, booting from your uh, USB, you have to go to your BIOS settings. Maybe, I don't know, your BIOS uh, maybe accessing by pressing F10 or F2 or escape, whatever. You can Google search for uh, that. It's a very easy job. You can check if your system is uh, accessing the BIOS from F10 or F8 or F2. And actually... Uh, booting it, it's already finished booting you have to uh, click install choosing your language actually it's look, it's uh, like a live CD uh, here uh, ask me for installing third party actually I don't have now now here is a very important option you have to take care 
the first one is uh, installing it and it will erase the disk uh, this one actually here alongside because it's pre-installed but I will show you how to install it on an empty disk or a disk containing another system like Windows this one here is completely erase the whole disk and install the Linux Mint on it you have to take care from that option uh, the other one is something else so you are going to partition it actually in both cases I'm going to go with this option maybe you have Windows and you want to uh, custom partition to install Linux on it actually uh, this is my disk contain uh, this uh, previous uh, system but I'm going to delete all of this and show you from the beginning as starting with uh, empty disk free space Linux needs two kind of partitions the first one is the root partition which is this forward slash with an xt4 journaling uh, file system actually we are uh, going to make another video about what all these journaling file systems which one is better but we will stick with xt4 now and the size one is going to maybe at least 15,000 15 gigabytes for that root partition the second needed partition is the swap swap partition needed it's like a virtual memory for Linux and it is needed actually we have now the root and the swap click install it asks me that uh, it's going to uh, have uh, delete uh, any previous things here warning me that uh, it's going to delete uh, the uh, disk and you cannot go back say continue here your time zone you choose it your language choose it and your username you choose and your password and here uh, log in automatically or require the password to log in for me just for testing purpose and showing you log in automatically so click continue now it start to uh, installing the packages onto the hard disk actually uh, this uh, installation process maybe it's going to take some minutes maybe less maybe more that's uh, depends on your uh, hardware uh, how it uh, how much how speed it is so I'm going to stop the video again until this uh, installation uh, finishes and once in once it is uh, finished it will ask you to uh, reboot the system and uh, you should uh, remove the USB memory after that reboot so you can boot onto the system directly and without any problems now Linux Mint is successfully installed congratulations about this step it's a very good step uh, keep ahead going and learn Linux more and more uh, now we should have make some other videos about using uh, this uh, shell in Linux which is uh, the main source of powerful Linux and how to use it how it, uh, what is Linux commands that you're gonna use uh, what other uh, Linux programs that ship with Linux uh, this Linux Mint actually is a very well documented uh, distro so I hope you enjoy it now we have successfully installed Linux on our physical machine uh, the same steps goes for virtual machine uh, which is the second way of installing Linux if you don't want to install it on your real hard disk is to install it onto the uh, virtual machine or the uh, virtual box now if you wanna you, uh, do that way you have to download virtual box I'll keep the links on the post and on the video comment this is a uh, virtual box go for download 
and you choose if you are using Mac or using Windows you download the uh, the suitable uh, package for you I've already done that and I installed uh, VirtualBox so VirtualBox is here now we create a new virtual machine I'm gonna uh, name it like Mint automatically uh, choose Linux and Ubuntu uh, 64 next this one gigabyte of RAM is suitable create a virtual disk the type is VDI uh, virtual box uh, disk image leave it like that and the uh, storage is a uh, dynamically allocated I'll keep it like that and here uh, we choose at least uh, 13 or 12 or 13 gigabyte I prefer to make it bigger but uh, 13 megabyte uh, is good then it's created now we need to boot from that the ISO disk image that we have downloaded for Linux Mint I go for settings storage choose this empty controller and choose the ISO image we have downloaded and click OK now we click on start should start this uh, virtual machine on virtual box now this virtual box is actually free and here you go these steps now the same steps goes as we have installed on the video exactly without any problem without any change you install it on this virtual machine without the need to uh, install it on your physical drive without uh, all these uh, things the same steps so I hope you enjoy it I hope you enjoy uh, uh, Linux using Linux Mint and we, we will make uh, more videos about Linux and Linux commands how to use it so uh, see you then thank you Oh